Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Royson. I am super excited to continue this new series on the greatest questions in web handling. In this clip, I try and give a simple answer to the age-old question, should I use a dancer or a load cell? Or perhaps even both? This is a great question. First, dancers, load cells, or any other tension control element can easily affect waste, delay, and customer complaint if not done well. Second, the question has wide application in web handling. We must have some form of tension control, and dancers and load cells are the most commonly used option. Third, it is not easy to give a universal answer to that simple question. For our answer, we will start simple, and that may be good enough for many. Then we will add a bit of complexity to give a better, more complete answer. We will finish with a set of additional references for those who wish to know even more. Let's get started. The short answer is that you may be able to use either in many cases, particularly if the dancer is calibrated and has low friction. If you are not sure, you should have both. Adding a load cell to a dancer or any other drive section generally adds very little to the cost of the machine while greatly increasing its utility for operators and engineers alike. A more complete answer would be to compare the strengths and weaknesses of both dancers and load cells. Dancers are required for certain applications where violent upsets are to be expected, such as turret winder transfers. However, load cells are usually required for tight tension control. There are many other issues to consider, such as maintenance. Both of these sensors can be challenging in the brutal web machine environment, but for their own reasons. You should go to school if you design or buy web machines in order to not overlook some vital detail. Dancers and load cells each have their own strengths and weaknesses. However, if you are designing or buying a new machine, you might wish to incorporate both in a single drive section. This gives you the widest possible control possibilities. For example, you could use the dancer for control and the load cell for a readout of tension control quality and to check against the dancer that also should be calibrated in tension units. If you find the dancer unnecessary or even unhelpful, you can simply lock it out for movement and use the load cell output as feedback to the drive motor. There is much more that you can learn on this subject, such as found in Module 5 of my award-winning and trademarked Web 101 school that has been taken by 5,000 students. We also have two drive chapters in the Web Handling Handbook and elsewhere. I have a few other clips on dancers in this All Web Handling channel of YouTube. Thank you so very much for allowing me to share my thoughts on great questions in Web Handling such as this debate between dancers and load cells. Let me know what questions you might have in the comment section below. Please like and share if you found something interesting or useful. See you next time.